What is up my friends? It's Rayback here and welcome to version 3.0 of my creative work from home office space. Many of you guys really seem to be enjoying these behind the scenes tours and seeing the evolution of my new desk setup. So I figured I'd show you guys what's new this time around because things in Ray's world can never stay the same. Just a quick reminder before we get started, if you enjoy what you see here and like my videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because there is so much content coming down the pipeline and I don't want you guys to miss a thing. It's the little things that go a long way and little things like that help support the channel and make all of this possible. So with that said, let's get back to it. To me, a desk is so much more than a space to work. It's a space that offers a different kind of canvas to get creative with. Just as you would with making art, you know, drawing, taking pictures, producing a video and so on. A desk setup is a unique customizable piece that allows you to bring your ideas to life. So this here is very version 3.0 of my creative work from home office space. The desk I'm using is the Uplift V2 commercial. It's been the foundation of my new creative setup that I've been using since about May of this year. I have the 60 by 30 inch version and it's a nice spacious surface to work on, whether that's sitting or standing. The whole theme of my setup revolves around the walnut wood finish on my desk. It's a color I've always been drawn to and it just creates that cozy log cabin rustic vibe that I really, really love. You may notice this time around that things are brighter on my desk, like much brighter. That's because around the back, I added a Philips Hue light strip. This not only lights the space up nicely, but it also allows me to change the colors and set the mood for how I'm feeling. I also film a lot on this desk now, so it creates a nice lighting environment to just create different scenes. Another thing that's new here is the addition of a Dell MSA 20 monitor arm for my Dell U2720Q 4K display. Since the beginning of this setup, I've always been curious about adding a monitor arm since it would free up a lot of space on the desk and doing this actually made a huge difference. Not only does this allow me to store my MacBook underneath the display, but the arm also has built-in cable management to feed the wires through. So in short, this basically results in a single USB-C cable popping out and running to my MacBook Pro. This powers my computer, it allows me to use the external monitor with my computer, and overall it just creates a nice, neat, and organized tech setup. Another cool thing about the U2720Q display is that it acts as a USB hub, so my Stream Deck Mini and Wooden Clock are all connected and powered by the display. Additionally, there's also ports on the side of the display, which I use all the time to transfer content from my SD card or use an external drive. I didn't realize it when I bought it, but this monitor is fantastic. It's just great for creating a convenient and clean, minimal setup. While we're on the topic of tech, you may have noticed the new stand that I'm using for my MacBook Pro. It's the Grobemade Laptop Lift. It's actually a pretty funny story as to how all of this came to be, but long story short, I purchased a number of items from Grobemade for the first version of my setup, and that video caught their attention, so they offered to send me over some products for my setup, which was really, really kind and really awesome. In addition to the Laptop Lift, I also got their brand new vertical MacBook dock, which will definitely be getting a lot of use, and a matte desk pad, which didn't quite fit on the uplift desk due to the grommet holes, but it does fit perfectly on my studio desk, which is really great. I absolutely love Growmade products, and there's a reason why I bought them for my setup. Not only are they beautifully designed and match the walnut wood finish on my desk, but they're each individually handcrafted in a workshop, so you can literally feel the quality and beautiful craftsmanship of each piece. They just give off that minimalistic vibe, and I really do have to take a second here to give them a huge shout out for bringing my setup together because they didn't have to do this kind gesture at all so it was just very very nice and lastly the final thing new this time around is cable management since my last setup video i did a whole lot of managing cables which resulted in a very nice clean look on both the top and the bottom of the desk i talked about this in the past but i am very much a perfectionist and everything has to be just so in my world so zip ties and velcro they're very much my best friends when it comes to bringing my work space to life. 
Other than that, everything is pretty much the same on my setup since last time around. The Elgato Wave 3 microphone on my boom mic arm is still there for quick voiceovers. The two fake plants, one on each side, are still there. The Nomad Base Station wireless charger, the Cubone Funko Pop, the desk pads, the MX Keys keyboard, and MX Master Mouse 3. And of course, the famous fountain that everyone has come to love since the very first version of this setup. It is truly the ultimate relaxer, and honestly, I don't ever see it leaving. It's just one of those things that makes this workspace so different and so unique. So with that said, there you have it, version 3.0 of my work from home creative workspace. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or feedback, I would love to know what you think down in the comments box down below. As I mentioned before, things are always evolving here on my end and having just started this project a few months ago, I am stunned at how much of a difference changing around my space really did for my productivity. In the age of everything being virtual and remote, I think it's incredibly important to get comfortable and find a space to make your own. Trust me, it really does make a difference. Anywho, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you didn't, you know the drill by now. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. And until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace!